boys today we're gonna be looking at some signs that you yes you are a bad drifter very bad number one you have a horrible livery so for example if you see this dude drifting around the chances of him being a pro sim drifter very slim look at that this is how they drive this oh that was a pretty clean 360 but <laughs> these guys with these liveries they're not good i have some tips as well for you guys i used to make these kinds of liveries as well when i started out okay ain't gonna lie so guys we're gonna make this car look like a pro sim drifters car first of all take off the weird body kit go with like a normal body kit second of all delete the livery guys delete it get rid of it i don't ever want to see that livery ever again okay remove it done already looking pretty good honestly that's pretty much all you need you just need to fix your rim there and you're good to go nice and clean guys you don't need any random stickers on your car okay a simple paint job will fix your car nobody will think this dude is a horrible drifter oh <laughs> by the way boys second example as well over here i mean look at the monstrosity doesn't have that many stickers on but it just it doesn't look beautiful the bumper the lead here doesn't help as well awful boys number two people who are getting way too close i'm gonna show you what i mean i'm gonna go into a drift server we're gonna be chilling here just chilling vibing in springstone sky is looking absolutely beautiful there doing my nice smooth lines with the steering wheel uh, oh god there's someone someone behind already okay this is not looking too good i'm trying to transition to the left and he doesn't let me okay i mean first attempt maybe he made a mistake all good right i will forgive him next corner looking pretty good oh there's another dude here oh god the same dude is back okay he's getting way too close again he's getting way too close way too close and again this is what i'm talking about doesn't that help you out i mean guys sometimes you gotta understand on their screen they might not be able to actually see them hitting your car it's called desync and lag this can happen oh god there's, uh, there's another dude just slowing down in the middle of the road we should talk about that as well and the random 360 right random 360 in the middle of nowhere guys don't do random 360s in the middle of nowhere make sure nobody is behind you when you do these random 360s okay otherwise you're gonna like cause people to break and even crash if you do them just look back for a second make sure no one is coming by the way fun fact if there is a leader and the chaser in a tandem the chaser has to give space for the leader to move do the corners all right here, here's the dude again just full on pressing me i, I can't i can't i can't, I can't, I can't go can't go anywhere rage quit i'm rage quitting number three bad wheel fitment that is an example of a dude who does not now have that is an example of a super dude who does not know how to drift if someone's wheels are poking out like that i guarantee you he does not know how to drift the front is even even worse here but yeah even if it's like slightly a little bit come on you are a disgrace to drifting community get out of here i mean make sure you subscribe and then get out so boys you're on a car mate you want to see some nice looking cars right and there is just this it's ugly how can i take a picture when there is a car with this wheel fitment in the background right what is that come on guys i can show you as well how to fix that guys i think it's like very difficult because every other dude in car mate has wheel fitment issues we need to talk about it boys first of all rims way too big make it smaller right let's go with 19 19 is pretty good size already better you can still it's still clipping a little bit guys this is still not fine because when you drift your rear end bounces a little little bit as well while drifting the tire can go through the defender there so make sure you lift up your car a little bit that's pretty much all you need to do look at that so yeah boys tires make it smaller go to suspension lift it up a little bit looking fine looking juicy and no one will think you are a horrible drifter which is the goal right and boys another example as well ugly red rims first of all by the way will fitment like overall seems to be fine nothing is clipping through the fender there it seems maybe a little bit but the issue is full max camber come on guys i mean if it was a stance car on a car mate that's pretty dope that's nice but drifting like that with max camber red rims guys stop it Just stop this 
Please? You can't drift with Max Camber. You can drive with Max Camber, which is also unsafe because only a very small portion of the tire is actually touching the ground. But nobody drifts like that. Guys, no one, nobody drifts like that. So if you're like joining a car meet, like go for it. Go, go with Max Camber, right? But just drifting around like that, it's just, it looks weird. Like it just looks weird. I can't take anyone seriously who drifts like that. There is not a single pro drifter who drifts like that. Not a single one. Okay. All right. I had to get it off my chest. All right, boys, we're gonna talk about number four as well, which doesn't really apply in car wrecks because there's like an animation that makes the wheels seem slower, but I gotta get behind keyboard for that. All right, boys, number four, you are on keyboard. Yeah, boys, like keyboard, very inconsistent. Look at the look at the front wheels, what are they doing? No one can follow you because even you don't know where you're going. You can't be precise. Guys, controllers, not that expensive. Please get a controller, you can be way smoother. Otherwise, the front wheels will go like left and right, left and right. Chasers don't want to follow you. This is a very clear sign that you're not a good drifter, guys. Please get off your keyboards if you're on PC. This is how an average keyboard player drifts. <laughs> guys, take your keyboards and throw it away okay boom number five you don't reset guys on keyboard there is r there is r on the keyboard please press the r key okay when you crash or spin out let me demonstrate with the keyboard okay you'll be drifting right look at that some nice roundabout pro drifting with keyboard you crash into a pole boom what do you do someone might come behind you crash into you you reset no you don't back off slowly you reset even on steering wheel guys on steering wheel it's a little more difficult but honestly there is not that many steering wheel players in comics for example but look at that i'm gonna try to crash i crashed boom I still managed to find the reset button, even though I didn't exactly know where it is. Alright, I'm gonna show you one more example, okay? Guys, I'm drifting. Look at that, going two inside, boom. <laughs> now you have to reset, there is there's no way you're gonna get out of that. So guys, might as well find out what your reset button is if you don't want to be stuck in a pole forever right before you go online make sure you know where the reset button is when you do your random uh, stunts and you fail you need to get out of the road as quickly as possible otherwise people from behind you will crash into you they will both ban you out of the server as well you don't want that all right boys a bonus 360 as well boom Woo. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, oh, yes. Look at that. That was a good bonus 360. All right, boys. Bob is actually telling me that I forgot about one thing. Uh, yeah, Bob, I got, I got you. I got you. All right. Yeah, guys, Bob is right. Everyone can tell you're a bad drifter if you haven't subscribed to Goosiest. Okay? It is a well-known fact, scientifically proven. If you subscribe, you will be pro and people will respect you. So, boys, as always, stay sideways. Peace.